Hi, um, so we just got done cleaning our AR and we're going to do some maintenance. We are not a brand new gun anymore. We're about 3,000 rounds into this. About 3,000 rounds, there's about, a, there's about three parts I recommend replacing. Uh, just do that 3,000 mile or 3,000 uh, 3, round tune up to make sure those parts are working. There's a few parts that wear out in your bolt carrier group that I do recommend replacing. Uh, is it a necessity? Am I telling you to replace them way before they go bad? Absolutely. These parts will easily go five to 6,000 rounds on average without a problem at all. So what I recommend is you replace them at 3,000 because I know they'll go to three. Can I guarantee that? No, but that's usually, I can almost guarantee you're not gonna have a problem with them before that 3,000 round mark, okay? So we're gonna take our bolt carrier. If you haven't watched our video before this, watch it and see how to get to this point. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the firing pin clip here. It's gonna hold it in place. We're gonna set that off to the side. We're gonna come bring our bolt back and we're gonna drop that firing pin out. It's a firing pin off to the side. Our lug here needs to be taken out, which is in this gun, as you'll see in all my videos that I use this gun in, is a pain to get out. I don't know why this particular gun has a, such a hard time with that guy coming out. And then we get to our bolt here, okay? Now when it comes to our bolt, we've got our firing pin. We're going to go ahead and take the extractor out. So we're going to push that pin in. We're going to squeeze, push. That little pin's going to pop out. Okay, that little guy set it off to the side. And we're going to pull our extractor out. We're going to check and make sure there's no cracks in there. No issues like that. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull the spring out of there. Now sometimes a little pair of pliers will help with that. We're going to sit in there and pull that guy out of there, if you can get it out of there. This one is well in there. Oop, there we go. So that will come with a little spring. And it'll also have a little rubber in there that goes down the center. Now one thing I recommend you do is you put in a system that comes in three parts. That has an O-ring, the little rubber plunger in the middle, and the new spring. So go ahead. I always use a Benchmade. I'm just joking. You know, because we're not sponsored by them, so. And nor are we telling you to buy them because that would be against YouTube policy and I'll probably get demonetized. So once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and take our little parts out. We're gonna put our little plunger in there in the spring. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and put our O-ring in there. Just right around the both of them. Now this system will run, that's what I like about the O-rings, they will run even if the spring breaks. Even if the spring breaks, the O-ring will actually have it run. It will actually run just fine with just the O-ring in there. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and push that guy back in there until it clicks and straightens back out. So sometimes that takes a little bit of force to get that guy to go back in. Finally clicks in. When it's clicked all the way in, it will be straight up and down. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and stick it back in the gun. And so we've got our new spring in there, our new O-ring wrapped around there. The O-ring looks really big. It still fits in there just fine. And the gun will usually run, even if it just had that in there, it would run just fine. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and press really hard now because it's way harder to get in there with the with that in there. And now we'll go in there and the pin will fall right in. Now the next thing we're going to change out are the gas rings. And these come out pretty reasonably, but they can kind of be a pain. So let's hope we get them out of there right off the bat today without a real problem. And they just pry right off. We're going to take those guys off. And like I said, were these working fine? Absolutely. Do we replace parts on ARs when it doesn't matter or when it matters? And I would recommend that you change them before it matters. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and pull them all the way out. Pull them all the way off. Now, there's three of them in here. It will run with one of them just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and clean out that channel. Make sure there's nothing in there that's going to cause a problem. I'm going to go ahead and again and open up my new gas rings. 
which are nice briny and silver and they don't have any direction so you don't have to worry about putting them on in the wrong direction and I just slide them on. Once I've got them on I'm going to go ahead and slide the next set on and then last set. Now people will tell you that these need to be spaced out in different directions. They do not. There is absolutely no reason to space them so the, so the rings are not all in the same place. We're just going to go ahead and pop those gauze guys on. And then we're going to make sure that they're spinning free and they're not on top of each other. Once that happens, put a little lube on there. A little lube. Slide it back in our bolt here. Remember, we're going to make sure. Now we got some tension there. It's going to be really good now. Won't have any problems. We're going to go ahead and put back in our lug. Remember, the extractor has to go to the outside. I'm going to spin it until that guy comes around. And push it through, twist the lug back over. Okay, once that's in there, we're going to take our new firing pin retention clip. First of all, put the firing pin in there. And go ahead and go there. Push it all the way down, make sure it's all the way in there because we want to make sure we catch that guy. I usually use a little pair of you know, pliers here to make sure that guy gets in there. And sometimes I'll spin a little bit and it will go right in. Perfect. Now once it's in there, I take a little tool, make sure my firing pin will not come back out. Because if it comes back out, it will fall out when it's working and cause a big problem. So we want to make sure that guy's flush, and now you've rebuilt the whole gun for another 3,000 rounds minimum. Uh, the other thing, the last thing I check is to make sure that my port here is nice and locked and staked in place so it's not going to be, there's no chips or dings, and we're all set to go. So as always, this is the Black Bear Prepper, and you guys have a great day. Like and share. If you have any questions, please leave them at the bottom. I'd be happy to get to you. And these videos are, like I said, again, at your own risk and for educational purposes only, but this will keep your gun running. So have a great day and we'll talk to you later.